Now, the moon has risen in Leicester, but this time it's inside the city's cathedral. A sphere seven metres across has been installed above the cathedral's nave to perfectly recreate the lunar surface. We've sent Amy Harris to the moon, the replica, of course. And Amy, um, it does look very realistic. Oh, we've lost her. <laughs> I'm so excited here that uh, I forgot my microphone. Yes, that is because this is in fact an exact replica of the moon. Let's just show you a little bit closer, complete with valleys and craters. Basically everything uh, you would see hundreds of thousands of miles away in space uh, is on show close up here in Leicester Cathedral. Now this is called uh, the Museum of the Moon and though it looks sizable, as you can see, completely filling the nave here, it's actually uh, half a million times smaller than the real thing. Uh, nevertheless, it's the closest most of us are ever going to come to seeing it. So as you might expect, lots of people have packed in the cathedral tonight to have a look at it at its launch event and throughout the day. One small step for man, one giant leap for Leicester Cathedral. This seven metre model of the moon is on display and it's already drawing crowds. It's just an incredible thing to look at, how it doesn't fall and wow. I like looking at the moon because it's really big and it's just it's got loads and loads of craters and it looks like it would be really hard to count them all. In one word, how would you describe the moon? Big. You know, the best place really to appreciate this installation is on the ground and it's uh, really something special, isn't it kids? Yeah! And that's because it's based on NASA photographs, so it looks just like the real thing. It was created by artist Luke Jarum in a project that's taken 15 years, or in moon terms, about 180 lunar months. It's wonderful to see uh, the delight and the awe and wonder on kids' uh, faces as they come into the space and see the moon for the first time. I mean, this is also the public's opportunity to go round the back and see the dark side of the moon for the first time as well. And that's the side of the, the moon which we can never see from the Earth. The moon's appearance is one of a number of events in the city organised by the University of Leicester to mark British Science Week. Science is so important for the future in terms of solving problems and this sort of thing. And what I'm hoping is that as some of the kids who come here, that little spark that maybe gets them into science later in life, hopefully we'll be sowing the seeds for some of the great British scientists of the future. Like the original, this replica has been seen around the world. Oh, that's so cool. Judging by these faces, its visit to Leicester has left people feeling, well, over the moon. Well, let's just bring in the Dean of Leicester, uh, the very Reverend David Monteith. Uh, David, why did you want to host this touring art installation? We always love doing interesting things here and bringing new people into the cathedral. When I saw this, my heart was full of awe and wonder. And I think awe and wonder leads people to worship. It also leads people to science and to exploration. And so we hope that many people will be inspired by this moon in the cathedral. Absolutely. Thank you very much. And if you're one of them and if you want to come and have a look, it's going to be uh, suspended here in the nave until the 18th of March. I'm off to lie down underneath it. I can highly recommend it. Oh.